Good day. In this short video, we're going to explain how to use Microsoft Edge to set up two different profiles, one for work, one for home, to access your Office 365 content. Now you may ask, well, where would I use that? Well, if you are in an office, you're probably, your browser, MS Edge, is likely already signed into your corporate account. If it's not, it should be, generally speaking. However, if it's not, we're gonna show you how to set that up. And this allows you to easily get into portal.office.com, which gets you into your OneDrive, your Outlook on the web, Teams on the web, Whiteboard, all kinds of standard Office 365, now called Microsoft 365, applications. But again, if you're in the office, you may want to access your personal stuff as well. And that's a bit of a pain to do without going through the process I'll show you. So let's get to it. This is a fresh Microsoft Edge, and I'm not signed into anything. And so I'm going to click on the little torso, the head icon at the top right hand corner and select sign in. Now you may or may not already have an account here. If you do already have the account you're looking for here, in my case, my corporate account, just click on it. However, mine is not here. So I'm going to select my work or school account. This is my corporate office account. And I'm going to enter my credentials. My company requires me to enter my credentials in their system as well. And this company has two-factor authentication. You probably don't. Click OK on the authorization. And it will complete setting up this profile for you as your work, as your corporate profile inside of Microsoft Edge. So click Done. So now I can click Sync. And in a minute or so, you will see my favorites and other things show up. You'll see my icon has shown up in the top right hand corner. What that means is I can go off to portal.office.com and the, as you can see, I'm typing in the address bar. And I can now see my corporate mail. I can go in to see my OneDrive. I can even bring up Teams on the cloud. So that's really handy. Ah, look, my uh, favorites just showed up. Now, how do I add my personal? So you can imagine now I'm in my office and I, but I actually also want to be able to get to my personal email and my personal OneDrive. And I don't want to have to sign in every time. It's just such a pain. Well, easy enough, just set up a separate profile. So click in your head in the top right hand corner, whatever the icon is, select add a profile. Now, as it says here, you can keep your corporate and your personal mail separate, or this is uh, could be useful for people that have family members at home that want their own separate session. They have a single computer and they want to use one Windows profile with multiple browser profiles. That's another reason to use it. So let's just click add here. So in my case, I'm receiving this switch profile prompt and I'll say no thanks to that. Now in the top right hand corner, I can click on the head again and select sign in. Now here you have to figure out is your other Microsoft account one that came directly from Microsoft or did it come from another company? For instance, you might want to use this if you are wanting to pull up email from another company. Say you're a contractor and you work in three or four different companies and you want to be able to flip back and forth easily. Well, then you would select work or school. But vast majority of people are going to enter, are going to, going to select Microsoft account because at home they have a personal Microsoft account that they use. In my case, however, I am going to select work or school, but you will probably not. Click on whatever is appropriate for you and enter your credentials. And again, I have two-factor authentication set up, so you probably won't see this, but if you do, just follow whatever process you require. Click Allow, click OK, I should say, and bingo. And when Sync pops up, click on Sync. You can click customize, uh, but we're going to show you that separately. So now I can again surf off to portal.office. If I could type, that would be better. Portal.office.com. And I can select the account I wish to use. And from now on, it, it will remember it. And you can see this is in dark mode. One of the nice little features that it remembers. And I can again go to my 
my Outlook on the, on the web, I can use my OneDrive, I can go to uh, Teams on the web, so I'll, go, I'll click on that and you'll see it'll bring up Teams. Actually, we'll just skip this because you can see it's going to load, we'll get out of that. Now you may ask, well, what is it actually going to sync? Let's find out. So what you can do is click on the head icon, select Manage Profile Settings, and you can see here under Sync what it's going to sync. So in my case, for this particular account, I don't have it syncing my history, but I could, and I will. Now this is the really neat one. I can have it sync the tabs that I have open. That means I can go from my home machine to my work machine, and they will sync up, which is pretty cool. Another place where this shows up is if I click Start, and I select the, the head icon, and I select Change Account Settings, you will see that it's automatically added the other accounts here. And I can now easily, let's close the browser altogether and then relaunch it. And you can see here, I'm logged in as work and I can just spin off to portal.office.com, get into my credential, get into my Office 365 data with no troubles. And I can easily just flip over, go to my other account and I can just as easily now go into uh, the portal and you'll see it will change to dark mode, there it is and I can get into my personal content so I can get into, I can switch between these now just by toggling back and forth very very easy now one of the things you may notice is that the head icon down at the bottom actually shows which profile you're in which is kinda neat all right, if you found this video useful, please click like as it very much helps with Google algorithm. Subscribe is also appreciated. If you have any questions or concerns, please put them in the comment section below. We'll be happy to help. Or you can always get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. That's U-R-T-E-C-H.ca. Thanks. Bye-bye.